What's going on, everybody? This is Dave from Steel City Drones. Today, DJI announced the new L2 LiDAR camera sensor, and we're going to go ahead and go over what that means, what are the changes, what are the improvements over the L1, and go over everything that we just learned about it today. So, again, with the L2, it looks very similar in appearance, size, and weight compared to the L1. But the main part of what the improvement is, is the accuracy. So they made some significant changes to the accuracy on the L2 that you're going to want to know about. The L1's accuracy is 10 centimeters on the vertical side and five centimeters on the horizontal side. Now the L2 has significant improvement over that with the vertical accuracy down to five centimeters and the horizontal accuracy down to four centimeters. Now that is a couple different things that's attributing to that accuracy. The first is now there's now up to five returns for more data collection. And the second thing is that the IMU is also more accurate. In addition to being more accurate, it no longer needs to be warmed up. So you're gonna be able to fly quicker and stay in the air longer because of that. The IMU has an accuracy increase down to 0.05 on a yaw efficiency compared to the L1's 0.3. The pitch and the roll accuracy of the L2 is now 0.025 of a degree compared to the L1's 0.05. So overall, tighter accuracy on the IMU and the sensor overall and it's much improved. Now, the photogrammetry camera is very similar to that of the L1. So again, we're looking at a four-third CMOS camera sensor that is 20 megapixels. As a benefit to the L1, not only are you getting a LiDAR camera, you're also getting a very good survey-grade accurate photogrammetry camera as well. So think of it as two cameras in one. So when you're thinking about maybe getting this camera sensor and then this camera sensor for the photogrammetry side, if you think that you can get good GSD with a 20 megapixel camera sensor, the L2 is gonna be a very good selection. But now we can do quality reports generated on site through the Power 2 app. So that way you can go ahead and see the results while you're still on site to be able to get that data and look at it and analyze it before you leave. That way you can check all your work to see if there's any kind of problems. Also, there's a few enhanced improvements in the DJI Terra platform to support this sensor. The first is DJI Terra will now be able to support PPK. And also you're gonna be able to generate DEM models through DJI Terra as well. So overall, some good improvements in here, but that accuracy improvement is definitely gonna be worth the money in my opinion. So let's talk about the workflow process on the L2. The first is you have to have an RTK service to be able to be embedded onto the metadata of what you're capturing. Without it, you're not going to be able to do anything. So you have to either have an N-Trip connection or the DRTK2 base station or a third party base station that's going to be compatible with the Matrice 300 and 350. So you have to have that RTK service on it and it has to be on it the entire flight or also will not be able to be imported into DJI Terra. Now, DJI Terra is the next step in the workflow process. These are proprietary files that have to be imported into DJI Terra. It does come with a six month subscription for no cost when you purchase the L2 camera sensor. So you'll have that off the bat. Once you bring your all your data into DJI Terra, you then can export it out to anything basically you are familiar with or anything that you want to use. 
but that is the workflow process that has to be followed with the L2. Now, don't forget, when you're looking at accuracy numbers, LiDAR accuracy and photogrammetry accuracy are not the same. You're not gonna be able to get photogrammetry accuracy out of LiDAR, at least not just yet out of anything. Even the most expensive LiDAR camera sensors are not gonna be able to get to photogrammetry accuracy. So again, we have a very good platform sensor with the M300 and M350 that we're gonna be able to really dial in and be able to use more efficiently for projects. So Steel City Drones is going to carry the L2 camera sensor. We're gonna start taking pre-orders as of right now, and you'll be able to get more information on SteelCityDrones.com. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. Give us a call. And if you haven't yet, please help us grow the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be able to get notified when videos like this get dropped much quicker. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Steel City Drone Flight Academy offers the most comprehensive on-site commercial remote pilot training program in the United States. Our team of professional drone instructors has more than 30 years of combined experience and have trained more than 1,000 students to fly drones commercially. We offer on-site training anywhere in the United States. Dave King from Steel City Drones is a pioneer in the drone industry and is one of the most experienced remote pilots with more than 18,000 logged flights and over 10 years of flying experience. After working with more than 800 clients, Dave has taken everything that he has learned and incorporated it into Steel City Drones training program to prepare you to be the best commercial pilot possible. Our most popular training package is a four-day commercial program. Day one, it's an introduction to drones day, an introduction to flying day, equipment familiarization. Day two is all day flying. It's our advanced flying. You learn up to 15 different practice exercises. You learn how to fly manually without any automation. And you're gonna be amazed by the things that you can do by the end of the day. The third day is what we call advanced ground school. We teach you everything that the part 107 test does not. And that's gonna be everything, nuts and bolts from a theory standpoint on how to be able to do flight missions. Everything from flight planning, risk assessments, to wireless communications, how to use visual observers, all the resource management from a theory standpoint. If you wanna really sharpen up how to fly drones commercially and professionally, this is a day that you cannot miss. The fourth day is a commercial applications day where we're taking the first three days, putting it all together, and we're doing simulated training missions that you would normally do for commercial flying, inspection work, mapping, or they could be search and rescue, monitoring, a lot of different ways that we can go with that tactical day. Depends on who is in the group and what they want to be able to do. They're, they are completely customizable. We also offer everything from one day introduction classes to seven day train the trainer programs tailor made to your specific needs. What sets us apart from other training schools is that we teach you how to fly manually without any automation so that you're prepared to respond to the worst type of situation a pilot can experience. Steel City Drones offers small groups of up to six participants per instructor so that each student gets sufficient one-on-one -on -one instruction. I'm Detective Brent Dukes with Jackson Police Department. Uh, the thing I like most about uh, Steel City Drones on-site training was that from all the way from the setup, the most basic parts of the setup of the drone and the equipment, having an, an expert right there with us to answer any questions we have was so helpful. They offered a comprehensive package including equipment recommendations, training, certification, study guides, everything that we needed to implement this drone and entire department they provided. Uh, some of the training that we got on site was flight planning, um, emergency drone recovery, should the worst case happen, dual flights uh, with two controllers, uh, one operator controlling the drone itself, the other controlling the camera. I would say that as sophisticated of a piece of equipment as this is, it's only as good as the operator who is running it, and the operator is only as good as the training they've received. Um, because there's no way that I would have figured out some of the capabilities of this equipment 
had I not had uh, David on site as an expert. I'm pretty capable with this type of equipment. I'm, I'm pretty savvy with technology, but there are things that I learned about this because David was there to answer questions in real time that I never would have learned on my own or even with the other uh, members of my department who were flying with me. If I didn't have his expertise in real time, I, there's just capabilities that I would be completely missing out on. My name is Robert Warrington. I'm the budget analyst at the State Training School in Eldora, Iowa. Uh, working with Dave was fantastic. He gave us great guidance and what to look for and you know, kind of his insights and what would really help for our kind of uh, mission that we have here. And by building this, I think it's going to help the school accomplish what we're looking for. For more information about Steel City Drones training services, please visit our website at steelcityflightacademy.com.